What's going through my mind? Excitement. Um, like I said before, I'd be happy. I love football season. I'm so happy because that lets you know basketball is right around the corner. Um, it's a, a different team this year, you know, starting from yourself all the way down. Lots of spots, lots of competition. Just your thoughts about how the Raptors are unfolding. Uh, I think Coach Case and Masai, you know, they did a good job of bringing in defensive minded guys like myself, uh, Corey Joseph, and uh, Biz Mack. So, um, I think it's going to be a lot of competition in training camp. It's a great opportunity for us as a group to get better, uh, to go out there and, you know, and try to succeed expectations. You come in here with the reputation of being a pretty good locker room guy, very intense, tough competitor. <laughs> the Toronto Raptors have their own kind of quality about this group. Guys are here in the summertime working out, private workouts. How do you feel this group is meshing together, especially yourself? Oh, uh, it's good, man. I, I, I kind of, you know, feel like a college team. Um, but, you know, I think I'm, I'm already bringing in my personality to the team. Um, you know, one of them grit grind, you know, one of them nitty gritty type guys. So, um, you know, I add my personality along with some of the other guys. I think we'll have a tough group. And um, that's my biggest job is to come in on the defensive end and do it on the defensive end. So, uh, like I said before, it got to start with defense and leads to offense and uh, everything else to take care of itself. So. Pressure on myself? Nah, I don't think I don't put no pressure. I think you, you media guys put pressure on me. <laughs> nah, I'm just messing with you. But now, nah, um, I think it's just another opportunity, man, for me to go out and display and take advantage of my opportunity. Um, that's everything about the league. You know, you get opportunity, but some guys take advantage of it, some guys don't. So this is just another chance for me to go out there and take advantage of my opportunity. Um, what pressure I have if, if I'm going out there to be junkyard dog? Not too much pressure. <laughs> That's for junkyard here. dog here, or you have a reputation to follow. I mean, we had another JYD here. Yeah, hey, you know, I'm it's 2.0. Put 2.0 in that. But um, <laughs> no, nah, I think I'm just going to go out there and do what I do, man. Let's be blue collar. I'm a blue collar guy. Can't you tell by the dress? <laughs> I'm a blue collar guy. I'm going to go out there and do what I need to do whatever it takes for my team to win. If that's to dive on the floor, take a charge, whatever, do the little things, whatever it takes for my team to win. What did you think about playing in Toronto when you came here as a member of the opposition? I just remember it used to always be sold out. And games used to always be packed. Uh, you know, it'd be cold. But, you know, other than that, you know, last year I think the team was kind of different from the year before. The year before, I think there was more defensive, physical team, but then last year they was kind of more, you know, all about offense. So, but I think the team is great, man. You know, a lot of people forget they still was one of the top teams, and you know, last year. So, it's just a matter of you know just trying to get better and uh, just keep practicing, keep getting better, and uh, keep trying to take advantage of our opportunity. Have you learned more about the city of Toronto? Have you been here for a little bit? Oh yeah, I learned a lot. It's a lot of good food, so um, I'm an Italian guy myself, so I've been in a lot of restaurants, um, but the people here are nice. You know, wherever I go, people say, hey, Damari, you know, so it, it, it's kind of cool, man, you know, to have these many fans and have these many people who recognize you and understand what you did and how much they love you.